So let's talk about The Accountant. Now this movie stars Ben Affleck as a math savant, possibly on the autism spectrum, who has a really troubled past with his father and a bunch of issues that you kind of learn about throughout the film. And the film slowly reveals that he's much more than just a typical accountant. Now I was originally really drawn to the film because of the director, Gavin O'Connor. He's got a couple not so great movies under his belt, but he also has some really good ones like Miracle and the really excellent Warrior. So definitely check out Warrior if you get a chance. If you haven't seen that one, that's got Joel Edgerton and Tom Hardy. Really excellent movie. But back to The Accountant. So I was drawn to it for that reason, but you know I had some reservations because the reviews weren't very good and it didn't look especially interesting in the previews. So you learn early on pretty much that there's a lot more to Ben Affleck's character than just an accountant, right? He, he's obviously got some serious, serious skills. He's very skilled martial artist. He's very skilled with weaponry. He's obviously got some type of serious training under him. Now, the cast overall is really solid. Everyone in the film is very serviceable, but there's really no standout, you know, great performances. Everyone's just pretty good. Now, Ben Affleck is, is probably the best person in the film. He, he's totally believable as this character, this guy who's just this kind of socially awkward, very strange, kind of badass guy. It really does come across as authentic. The best part about the film, honestly, is just the action scenes, the hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff. It's got like a little bit of like a John Wick style gun fu type of stuff to it, but it's also got some like crazy sniper scenes. It's got, like I said, some really good hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff, and it's really excellently shot. Some of the scenes, they feel like they're right out of like a really high quality action film, which I wasn't really expecting that much when I came into it. I thought it would be more about kind of the other issues in the film and then that would be kind of a smaller part of it. But it was, it's much more of like an action movie than I thought it was going to be. And, you know, the way that they put together Ben Affleck's character, I mean, this guy is a complete lunatic when it comes to all this stuff. He's such an expert. So he reminded me a lot of Benicio Del Toro's character in Sicario, where he just kind of seems untouchable. But that's really where the good part ends, is with those action scenes. The rest of the film is just pretty good. Everything about it is just fine. But there's really nothing that lives up to the quality of those action scenes. Now, the worst part about the film is that it just gets really convoluted by the end. There's like nine different plots going on, all these different little small paths you're taking to kind of come to this bigger picture. It's really unnecessary, and it doesn't work with the film. I think this is why most of the reviews um, kind of docked it for that because everything else about the film is actually pretty good. It's not amazing, like I said, but it's pretty good. But the story is just kind of crazy all over the map. You know, it's kind of sloppy, and it, it's got a lot of unnecessary scenes in the film. I did want to mention as well that I read this ridiculous review from Peter Travers. Um, he'll probably never see this, but I wanted to call him out. He reviews things for Rolling Stone, and he, you know, made this review, and he commented about how the film is trying to make it seem like Autistic people have more skills when it comes to murder and stuff like that. It's ridiculous, ridiculous leap to conclusion there. If he actually paid attention to the film, it's got nothing to do with that and much more to do with how he was raised. So uh, anyway, I just had to say that because it, it just blew my mind when I read that review. Overall, I'm going to give The Accountant a 3 out of 5. If the film was more straightforward and just got to it and, and kind of gave you a little bit more of the action stuff, I think it would be more like a 4, maybe a 4.5. And... A half. and or it, on the flip side of that, if it just had a more serious storyline that was more believable, it may have gotten a four, four and a half out of five. So it was close. It's got a lot of stuff going for it, but it's got a lot of stuff going against it as well. So I would recommend seeing it if you have a chance, but I definitely wouldn't rush out to go see it. There's a lot better movies that came out recently. So let me know what you guys think of The Accountant down in the comment section. If you liked it, I want to hear from you guys. If you didn't like it, I want to hear from you as well. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you at the next Culture Critic.